In League of Legends, the Ancient Coin, Spellthief's Edge, and Relic Shield grant bonus gold to champions through different effects. On today's episode of Wall Math, we'll be taking a look at which item grants the most gold over the course of a game. We've gone over the items in previous episodes, so we'll jump right into some comparisons. In our test, we'll assume one is being granted gold from the item's effects whenever possible. In the Relic Shield test, we'll assume one is killing a minion whenever a charge is available, prioritizing siege minions and then melee minions. Upon purchasing each item, one will save the most gold on the Spellthief's Edge based on the value of the stats at the basic level. However, after the first three minion waves, the Relic Shield will grant the highest amount of gold in total and on average. Assuming one is granted the average gold amount for each minion wave, the Relic Shield will outweigh the Spell Thief's Edge in cost effectiveness after five waves of minions. One should also keep in mind that the Relic Shield will continue to gain more gold on average since minions' gold bounties increase in value as a game goes on. Now let's move on to the upgraded versions of these items. Upon purchasing each item, one will save the most gold on the Nomad's Medallion based on the value of the stats the basic level. Assuming one is granted the average gold amount for each minion wave, the Targon's Brace will outweigh the Nomad's Medallion in cost effectiveness after 5 waves of minions. Out of the final versions of these items, the Face of the Mountain is the only one which is cost effective on purchase. Furthermore, the average amount of gold gained from the Face of the Mountain is greater than that of the other two items meaning it is impossible for the other two items to catch up in value based on the average amount of gold we used in these tests. Overall, the Relic Shield and its upgrades will be more cost effective on average. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous LawMath episode. You can also like LawMath on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and watch me livestream on Twitch. Thanks for watching this episode of LawMath.